Well, pretty much wall-to-wall -wall overcast for the Concho Valley today, but that didn't stop our temperatures from getting up into those A's, and we had a nice little breeze out there from the south-southwest, about 10 to 15 miles an hour all day long, but as you can see, still have those clouds around at the 6 p.m. hour, and as we look at the past 24 hours, we're seeing a good spread of those temperatures. Last night dropped down to about that 60-degree mark, got that daytime heating going, and got up to about that 83-degree mark today is where we topped out, topped out out here in San Angelo, and as we look at the temperatures around the entire region. We're seeing 76 degrees here in St. Angelo at the 6 p.m. hour, already starting that cool down. 80 degrees in Junction, 71 down is what they're at in Brady, 73 in Ozona, and as we take a look at the entire region, we're seeing those 70s and 80s across the entire area. 73 over there in Rochelle versus 82 for Robert Lee up there. 73 still in El Dorado, so about a good 10 degree spread across the entire region, but we're all going to be cooling down, going into the 60s for a pretty much unseasonably warm night. So we're a little bit warmer than last night where we got down into those 50, it got down to about that 60 degree mark. As far as these dew points are concerned, they're definitely getting up there as we have this southerly flow across the entire region. You can see junction at that 61 degree mark, 52% humidity, 64% humidity in Menard, then 53 up in Sterling City. So we're seeing a good spread of this moisture, but as we see the southerly flow continue, we're going to see more of this moisture working in and tracking that over the next couple of days. You can see as this, as this moisture works up from the Gulf, we're going to have a chance for rain as a cold front passes through Monday evening, but behind that, by that Tuesday time frame, that's where we start to see more of this dry air working in as that cold front pushes further through the region. Looking at our current satellite and radar across the nation, you can see not too much activity. They have that severe thunderstorm watch box in Ohio. Looks like they have a little bit of a tornado warning they're dealing with right now, unfortunately. Here across the state of Texas, though, we have all this cloud cover across the Concho Valley that's feeding off the west coast from a system. Plenty of westerly flow aloft is bringing all this moisture into the region and all of this cloud cover, and unfortunately, that's hanging out tonight and into tomorrow as well. As we're planning this out on the future cast, can't rule out some a little bit of a verga is what we call it. That's going to be rain that doesn't quite reach the ground. I think that's what this model is calling for. But you see that wind about 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the south going into tonight. But a couple breaks in the clouds could be nice, could get a little bit of some stargazing in there. But unfortunately, for the most part, we're going to be seeing mostly cloudy conditions as we go more into these overnight hours and into your Easter Sunday. We're seeing those winds hang out still out of the south, bringing in more of these warm temperatures and that moisture. But unfortunately, as far as rain is, rain is concerned, we're not seeing a ton of precipitation from this system. But for Easter Sunday, going to be getting nice and warm, getting up into those 90s for tomorrow. But like I said, those clouds are going to be hanging out for the whole day as well. For tonight, though, like I said, we're going to be war warmer than we are were last night, only into those mid-60s as we see these mostly cloudy conditions. That southerly flow is going to be hanging out about 10 to 15 miles an hour and into tomorrow. We're going to have those mostly cloudy conditions for your Easter Sunday, but that, that's not going to stop the temperatures from getting up to about that 90 degree mark, and we see those windy conditions across the entire Concho Valley. And as we're looking at that egg hunt forecast for tomorrow morning, about that 10 a.m. mark, I'm looking about 70 degrees with those mostly cloudy conditions so not going to be too bad if you're heading out for that egg hunt that's going to take us into that seven day forecast you can see for your easter sunday getting up to about 90 degrees monday we cool off a little bit 85 and can't rule out a little bit of a shower we have that cold front push through that drops us down into the 60s for daytime highs for tuesday and into the 40s for overnight lows but by next weekend that's where we start to make a rebound back up into the 80s that's all for your seven day forecast but now we'll head on back to shelby coming up a look at